Hey everyone, it's the founder of Developers Academy and you are watching iOS workshops at Developers Academy number 29. In this episode of iOS workshops, I would love to show you how to create an app that shows a Twitter and Facebook sharing option like this. When you click onto that action button, it is called a tail view row action button. We have an action sheet that shows us whether we want to share the course information via Twitter or Facebook. If you want to show uh, share via Twitter or Facebook, click onto that and we have a Facebook or Twitter composer. Then we can share that uh, the course information like the description, the image and the URL into Facebook and Twitter. We will learn about the social framework in iOS. This is a new framework and it's incredibly easy to use. I'm so excited to share it with you. First, if you're watching this outside of Developers Academy website, go right down the link right down below, go to our website, download our starter project. It will ask you for your name and email because as always, we love to show you and we love to give you our new freebie, which is our new course, how to view a social network iOS app. So I love that. I hope that you enjoy this video tutorial. I hope that you enjoy that video course later on after this video tutorial. Let's download the Star project and get right ahead into our project today. So here's our startup project. It displays all of our courses and programs at Developers Academy. When you click onto a course, it shows the course details. Here we have all the information about course and have some buttons. So we can click onto that. We can watch the course video or we can enroll into the course. We can share our friends. What we want to do in this video is when we click to this sh um, over the courses tail view controller, when we slide the cell to the left, we, instead of having this delete key, which is kind of like the default behavior of a cell, right? We want to have another button. This button allows us to click onto that and we have the share button. With that button, it displays an action sheet. This action sheet allows us to select where we want to share on Facebook or Twitter, and then we show the Facebook and Twitter composer. So let's do this. The first one is let's download the starter project and we have to add a table view row action button. That is exactly what we want to have when we slide the cell to the left. Then we have this row action button. And the way we do that is to override a method in the courses table view controller when it goes to the starter project. And on the left hand side, we have all the controllers like this. And we have the courses tail view controller slide down to the mock social sharing I already create for you and inside that we have the edit actions tail view edit actions for row and index path and index path okay this we can return an array of row actions normally we have some things like a delete key or we have the share buttons or we have some other things like in some to do app we can delay the action into some other things so first because we have this index path and what we want to do is to share the information of a course or a program with someone else so we will need a course the course that we select anyway so let's have that course that course is uh, self.program sub index path dot section then we have the program inside the program we have a bunch of courses and then inside this we have the index path dot row now with this app i designed the data source this way but if you want to create your own data source in your own program all you have to do in this one is to find your data source at the selected index path okay inside your tail view then we have the course next i want to create a share action which is the tail view row action so let's create that share action let's share action and that is a ui tail view row action and this one we will have to specify a style 
the style on this one is a UI TV row action and we have the no more style with this no more style we have a button and then later on we can configure the color of the button then we have the title the title in this one we use share and handler inside this one let's press enter with this handler inside this handler is when we click into this row action button whatever the code inside this handle is it will be executed after the user clicks onto that action button so in this one we can pass into we have a row action we also have an index path and the code here let's do this later on now as i mentioned before we have the share action so let's configure this share action um, we can do things like we can change the color of the share action to be into the default blue color of iOS. Okay, we can do something like share action dot background color to be UI color. So red, we have the red, blue, green, and blue and alpha. The right in this one we have 0, 0.0. Green is one two two. Zero, and the blue is 1.0 alpha is 1.0 now after we have the share action we can return this share action itself to the method to the tail view edit actions for row index path this one we can return an array of row actions so I will return just a single share action itself if you want to add, have some more one like in a all things to view cause in that app in total iOS blueprint we have a delete action also so we can create a delete action we can uh, add that delete action into this array and return that all the way okay so that uh, with just five single lines of code we have the tail view row action next let's display an action sheet after the user clicks onto the row action button this action sheet allows us to select whether we are using Insta, uh, Twitter or we're using Facebook to share the course information. Okay, let's have that inside the share action handler. For this one, let's use a share action sheet. Let's share action sheet is a UI alert controller. And we have the title. The title in this one is a nil the message is share with we want to share with either Facebook or Instagram so later on we have a two actions two actions added to this action sheet okay don't don't be confused here because we have two things the first one is a row action button which is this one and we have another one is when we click onto that we have an action sheet inside the action sheet we have multiple actions all right now this one is the preferred style is action sheet so we have the share action sheet next let's have the Twitter sharing option okay the Twitter sharing option it is an action inside that action sheet when we click onto that action we shows the Twitter composer now how we can have that Twitter composer well we can get that very very easily inside a framework provided by UIKit or provided by iOS which is the social framework okay let's introduce you to the social framework so with this action sheet I will create a Twitter share action let Twitter share action which is a UI alert action and with any UI alert action we have to provide a title the title is Twitter so it means that we want to share with Twitter now we have the style the style is for well, this action is default and then the handler now this handler inside this handler is something when the user clicks onto this share action that action then we shows the Twitter composer let's have that and we have the action here inside this let's display the Twitter composer like that first we want to make sure that our device supports Twitter or in other words the user has a Twitter account set up with the iPhone or iPad so let's check that 
if the SL Compose View Controller dot is available for service type. The service type here is a Twitter tag. So we have SL service type Twitter. Then inside this, it means that the user already set up a Twitter account. Then everything good to go. Let's create a tweet composer. Let's tweet composer, which is a um, SL compose view controller for service typed and again we use the SL service typed Twitter service type Twitter now we have the tweet composer let's set some default behaviors for this tweet composer things like the initial text things like the image for the Twitter tweet composer dot set initial text the text in this one we use the course description how about that and we have the tweet composer dot add an image and the image we have these is course dot image after everything is on set we can just present this tweet composer self dot present view controller tweet composer and image is true and completion is nil we will present this uh, tweet composer just modally as like an alert view or an action sheet everything is modally okay now there's another case however if the SL compose view controller is not available for Twitter in other words maybe the user has a set up for that set up the Twitter account then we have an else case here in this case we just want to self dot alert and we have to provide a title. The title is maybe Twitter unavailable. And the message is be sure to go to settings, Twitter to set up your Twitter account. It means that we will show an alert view to the users and tell him or her to go to settings, Twitter to set up her own Twitter account. Now, where is this self.alert title message comes from? Why well, there is a helper method that I already wrote for you. It's just very simple. It shows an alert controller, alert view controller, with the title that we pass in and the message that we pass in. And then add an action, which is OK, or you can change it, the button into anything you want. So that's we have the Twitter sharing option. Next, we want to add a Facebook sharing option. As you can see that later on you see the, the framework is very very much the same it's nearly the same so I would do it for you I would just copy paste this one copy this Twitter share action paste it right down below here and instead of Twitter share action we have the Facebook Facebook share action copy this one I hope that you will follow me in this one and the title in this case is a Facebook share with Facebook. Okay. If the SL Compose View Controller is available for the service type of SL service typed Facebook, okay. Facebook, then we will create a Facebook composer for the service typed Facebook. Okay, this should be a cool challenge, but let's do it together. Then we have the Facebook composer. Let's add some dot set initial text. We also have the set initial text, which is course.program. Also have Facebook composer dot things like add an image. The image will have the course of the image. And also with a Facebook post, it's very generous to give us a link. So Facebook Composer dot add a URL. In this case, we need an NS URL with a string of course dot program URL. And grab that and we have that. After everything is set up, we need to present this Facebook Composer just like this. And so in the else case, we just have to Facebook 
unavailable and change it instead of Twitter into Facebook. So very, very, very simple. Now, we have three simple elements. The first one is an action sheet. We have a Twitter share action. We have the Facebook share action. Next, maybe the user doesn't want to share anything yet. He or she may, may want to cancel this share action or this action sheet. So let's allow the user to cancel our action sheet. Let's cancel action to be UI alert action with the title of cancel. And the style is dot cancel and handler. In this case, we just want to have nil because with the style of cancel, when the user clicks into that, it will automatically dismiss the action sheet. Okay. Next, let's add all of these actions, the Facebook action, the Twitter share action and the cancel action into our action sheet. Share action sheet dot add the action, which is Twitter share action. We have the share action sheet dot add action, which is Facebook share action. We also need to add the cancel action also. Share action sheet dot add action, cancel action. Then as you may guess, after we configure all of the actions for our action sheet, we will need to display or we need to self dot present our share action. Present view controller, share action sheet, animated true and completion is nil. Now everything is all set. It's time for us to view and run this project to see how it looks like. So here's our app. When we click onto this slide to the left, we have a share button. And notice the share button is not a default red color. We have the iOS default blue color. Click onto that, we have the action sheet which is shared with Twitter or Facebook. When I click to this, we have an alert shows that Twitter unavailable because on the simulator, we don't have a Twitter account, okay? Now, I encourage you to run it on an iPhone, see if it works, okay? I will show you the screen that it works right now. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Code Hangouts. If you have any questions, feel free to post it right down below at our blog. Or if you love to watch more video tutorials from me every week, every day, subscribe to my channel on YouTube and go to dukechan.cl or developersacademy.io and subscribe to our newsletter list. So every week I can send you even more video tutorials. Oh, when you enter your name and email to subscribe to our newsletter, I already send you another video after you send you the startup project, right? After that video, inside that video, I send you another course, an iOS course I created for you, a new iOS course I want to give you as a free gift, as my thanks for checking out Code Hangout, for supporting me in this channel. So definitely check that out, goes back to your inbox and get that video tutorials series from me. So until next time, I see you in the next episode of Code Hangout. I see you at Developers Academy. Go out there every single day of your life, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.